was before the game. Fans always think of it in terms of games missed. But what Doc was talking about is practices. Officials tell me that tomorrow the Board of Governors will have a conference call that will discuss a further plan of action. I've also been told, Ian, that team officials for the Warriors have been in constant contact with local government officials in Atlanta and Toronto and the Lakers and Houston. Leonard. Oh! Cyborg slam! He's up on his backside. Why Leonard attacks, no one comes to help. It's just too easy. I understand concern with giving up threes. Have the exact math on that, or are you speculating on those figures? I'll admit I'm speculating, but but I'll go with it anyway. Well, tack that on to the percentage for Kawhi Leonard in the mid-range. Clippers have their largest lead. Leonard, the back in on Damian Lee. The fadeaway, he's got it. For a team that was then, Drexel was three and seven. He was coming off the bench, was clearly the best player on the floor. But what impressed me? Point party continues for LA. 13 of 24 from beyond the arc. Leonard on the stop and go, the fadeaway. He nails it. Kawhi Leonard is doing it from all angles. Off the bench behind only Dennis Schroeder. Leonard, major mismatch. Bowman ends up on the deck. And count it for Kawhi Leonard. He's going to help up Bowman. It seems like no matter who guards Kawhi Leonard, and not just tonight, but on every team, he's always got a matchup advantage. If it's a bigger guy, he's going to go by him. If it's a smaller guy, he's either going to bully him or just go over the top. There's not a good way to match.